All right, so how many C5s are still on the road today? Let's figure this out. Well, good evening, guys. Drinking a little blue moon tonight. The wife picked me up some blue moon, so thank you. So, a few weeks ago, well, I see it sometimes, I see it on Facebook groups, but a few weeks ago in a Facebook group, someone asked the question of, hey, how many C5 Corvettes are still in circulation, not total, still on the road? And people gave them a hard time. I didn't really give it any attention. And then I kind of thought about it. I was like, man, that's a good question. How, how many are there? And I was like, this, it can't be that hard to figure out. Or, or is it? So I started doing some digging. And to my surprise, the UK or Europe in general, you can do data research on any car. Any car registered there with a DMV or uh, insurance type, it's, it's open source, if you will. You can find out how many of a specific type of car is still on the road within you know plus or minus two percent if i had to guess there's endless tools for the uk and i was like great so there's obviously gonna be something very similar here in the us i can just use some sort of data analytics tool i was severely mistaken so to do this for the c5 i had to get kind of creative i had to use some baseline data some statistics some raw data and a very unique formula that with the average attrition rate of your average car every year. Attrition rate meaning uh, how quickly they're diminishing. It's a fancy word for saying dwindle. So here we go. First things first, here's a very crude baseline. Just going on Auto Trader or car gurus, etc. Total number of cars for sale that obviously work that aren't totaled. Uh, between the two was an average of about 850. So we know that. Uh, and given mine in the garage, so we know there's exactly 851 on the road today. But that's not good enough. We need to keep going, right? Now, after doing some research at work, I came up with the best number I could for our attrition rate for a car since 1950 until now. On average, your average car is 2.5% of that model year. Every year is totaled or a complete loss. So using that as my attrition rate, I can use that with a very simple formula here, pretty much timesing that times the percentage, which would be 97.5 uh, times itself on how many years old it is. So at 1997, uh, I times that formula by 25, and that would give me the percentage left in the year 2022. All this data you're reading right now, this is only gonna be good for this year you're watching. If you're watching this in 2028, it's gonna be a little off. So I went through each year, 97 to 2004, uh, adapted this formula, and per year, this is what I got. So 97, there should be 53% remaining. Uh, at 98, 54%, 99, at 55%, at 2000, 57%, 2001, 58%, 02, 60%, 03, 61, and 04, 63%, respectively. So with that being said, a very rough ballpark, given the data, we're looking at approximately 144,000 units still in circulation. Now, however, I would say that's a little high, given that other data I looked at, Corvettes have a slightly higher totaled out uh, wreck rate than any other car, given the nature of what it is. Uh, given track days, people being stupid on the road, uh, these things being stolen and dumped, given that little bit of wiggle room, and given that a lot of these cars were turned into just track cars, meaning they'll never be on the road again, stripped down just for track, I'm going to guess the number is closer to 120,000 units. Now, unfortunately, we can't really break this down into individual trims like coupe, convertible, uh, Z06, but uh, bell curve, total all of them, there's about 55% remaining of each trim. So I think total Z06 is made was 18,000. I'm willing to bet there's about 9,000 Z06 is still on the road. They are a performance model, so maybe a little lower, maybe by 8,500. Now, with that being said, is the C5 a rare car with 140,000 units still on the road? Not at all. But damn, it is an awesome car, awesome platform. And in the last few years, this platform has got a lot of popularity. People are starting to figure out how light it is, how much power it's capable of, uh, the weight distribution, and overall, it's an amazing track weapon and an awesome cruiser. Now, it is unfortunate that we can't get an exact number. Within the U.S., uh, unless you work at the DMV or if you work in insurance and have access to these uh, database, a normal guy like myself can't give you an exact number. But given good analytical data from the last 70 years, on all cars, like I said, the attrition rate is 2.5% per year, and given the core batch, it's probably a little bit higher than that, given the nature of what it is. I think 100 and 
125,000 units is pretty safe. So if you're in the aftermarket business for making stuff for C5s, there's no shortage of business for you at all. So I thought that's just kind of cool. And if you found this interesting, I have no problem doing this in other platforms, uh, Corvettes or whatever, or just use a little formula I posted here. You can pretty much figure out how many cars are left within a certain type of segment, if that makes sense. So I thought it was kind of fun. I just thought about it. I was like, I'm going to figure this out. I think we're close. I would say 120,000 units is plus or minus 10%. Gun to my head, pretty accurate. So that was just a quick, fun little video. Um, I'm going to start taking off my rear, uh, what is it, bushings this weekend. I have had the hardest time sourcing rear poly bushings for the, for the C5. I have no idea why. The front's got here in two days. Three places I ordered it from. The next day I said, hey, they're back ordered eight weeks. Holy crap. So parts geek I ordered last night. Hopefully it goes through. I had to get red, which is all right. You won't see it. Um, but hopefully these guys will be here by the weekend. So I can get the, uh, the follow-up to the bushings uh, out next week. And real quick, my dealer contacted me today. For those of you that know how the C8 process works, I am at 3100, meaning I'm just waiting a production date. Uh, my, my salesman's very confident by Christmas the car will be in the garage, which is fantastic. And I'm looking forward to doing a C5Z for a C8 Stingray comparison. It's going to be stupid, but I'm excited to do it. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. And I'll catch you guys in a few days with something off the wall. I don't know. All right, guys, mark out.